In a magical northern kingdom, the queen went to surprise her daughter, Princess Annika, played by Barbie, with a birthday gift. When she opens the door to Annika's room, she discovers that Annika is missing, having gone to an ice rink without asking for permission, out skating. Annika meets a small polar bear, whom she names Shiver. When Annika returns to the palace, her parents are so worried and overprotective, they forbid her from skating ever again. This irritates and frustrates Annika, who never gets to do what she wants, and is often treated like a child, even though she's practically grown up now, after Annika's skates are taken from her, she goes up to her room in tears and tells her parents they ruin her life. That night, Annika sneaks out of the palace to join a festival down at the lake. She managed to get her skates back. Everyone is having a wonderful time until a powerful wizard named Willock appears and asks the princess to marry him. When Annika refused, Willock furiously reminds the king and the queen the fate of their older daughter, which surprises Annika. The king points out that he already has a wife, but Willock says that he has three and each one is prettier than the next. When Annika still refuses to marry him, Willock magically turns everyone into stone, but Annika is saved by Britta, a flying horse. Before she's out of sight, Willock tells Annika that she has three days to marry him. Otherwise, the spell will become permanent. Britta, played by Summer, takes Annika to a castle in the clouds called the Cloud Kingdom. There Annika meets the queen, Ryla, as well as three young girls, who brighten the clouds. Annika tells the queen what happened, and Ryla says that she will see what she can do. In the meantime, has Annika stay with them and gives her a new dress. Annika soon discovers that the other daughter of the king and the queen is Britta who was transformed into a Pegasus by Willock when she refused to marry him on her birthday, as well 16 years ago. When her parents couldn't break the spell, Britta ran away to the Cloud Kingdom, and as a result, their parents moved their kingdom. Some were not even Willock would find them. Was it explaining why Annika's parents are so overprotective? Annika now understanding this decides to stop her luck. But he's told that his spells are unbreakable. However, there is one thing that can stop him. The Wand of Light. She decides to boil the Wand of Light to break Willlock's spell accomplish this, they must have a measure of courage, a ring of love, and a gem of ice, lit by Hove's eternal flame. While Britta is hesitant at first, Annika talks her into helping her when she tells Britta she can be human again. Before they leave, the Cloud Queen gives Britta a crystal bell to ring if she needs help. The group travels to the Forbidden Forest, where they meet a young man named Aiden, played by Ken, who helps them after they get caught in a net. When Shiver and Annika fall into a giant stove pot, Annika tricks him into chaining himself to a post and uses her hair ribbon to climb out. The ribbon is the same size as hair, and as a measure of courage, it turns into a stave for the Wand of Light. 
Raven doesn't believe in the wand, even though he just saw what happened. However, after Ronika agrees to pay him, Aiden agrees to help and even knows someone who can help them find the gem. After trading Annika's skates for a fake map, the group finds themselves in a large cavern filled with gems, where a sign tells them to take only what they need. Although they get two gems, Shiver cause a cave in thanks to her amazement of the gems sparkless, which they narrowly manage to escape as Aiden starts to forge the wand. He reveals that he ran away from his parents because he lost all of their money. Gambling, he wishes to return to them and ask for forgiveness. Rita offers her tiara to make the ring of love with all three objects. The wand of light is assembled and Brita transforms back into her human form. Anika and Brita return to the Cloud Kingdom and to Pegasi, summoned by the Cloud Queen's bell. But Willock pursues them, hurting Brita. Angrily, Anika asks the wand to destroy Willock, but it does not work. Anika gives up, and finally, she agrees to marry Willock if he changes her parents and her people back to normal. Willock refuses her, for she is hateful, just like his other waves. He sneers at her, taking the wand from Anika's hand, and before flying off, he causes a snow slide, draping Anika. Immediately, Aiden comes and helps to dig Anika out. Aiden and Britta bring an unconscious Anika to the Cloud Kingdom after Anika wakes up. The trio goes to Willlock's place. Blush decides not to give the Cloud a dust color to give Anika more time after some persuasion by Rose. While Brita guards Pegasus, Anika, Aiden, and Shiver slide to the green castle. Aiden fights against Griffin as Anika searches for the wand. When she finds the wand, suddenly the gem falls. Fortunately, Aiden gives Anika his extra wand fixing the wand in no time. Realizing how to work the wand, Anika asks it to defeat Wenlock for the love of her family and friends. Wenlock turns to be an ordinary person and the spell on Anika's parents is broken. Anika shows them Britta and the entire family celebrates together. Anika apologizes to her parents for what she said to them before and they apologize for not telling her about her sister, while Aiden's father forgives him. Aiden makes Anika meet his father too. The incense shows Aiden and Anika skating in the Cloud Palace. Both Aiden and Anika are wearing crowns, signifying that they have gotten married. Rita remarks that they look happy and gives the Cloud Queen with the wand. Who replies that it will be the first star at night.